going to sing. They're going to jump. I think some of the children know that their jumping is very high and that they don't really bend their knees too much, right? Um, so, Jane, did you want to talk about questions now, or do you want to see them sing and jump a little bit more? Um, do you want to answer some questions? Do you want to speak, Jane? No, that's Okay. Yes. <laughs> we do have this microphone if you need it. Can you all hear me? <laughs>
besides the fact that everybody was like paparazzi around them, <laughs> uh, Lesit could tell us a lot about what he was looking at from not just the Samburu tribe, but all the tribes around. And some of it was 70 to 100 years old. So Lesit's wisdom comes from the oral tradition. Wow. So I think that's interesting. Um, but um, yes. ne no, neither of these two went to school. None of their brothers, older brothers or sisters, went to school. They don't speak English. They can't read. They can't write. They, can, they have a signature, but they can't even really write their name very well. So this was before we started the Thorn Tree Project, which is um, what, little, what you guys have been helping with, very few of their children went to school. In fact, there was 120 children in the area in school when we started, and now there are 1,300. <laughs> younger um, siblings that are going to school and then um, Lesit, who's none of his family have ever been to school. His um, young boy is the first one to go to school and he's at preschool and he's top of the class. Yay! Um, here's a question from Jorge Lopez. Is it hard to wear your jewelry around the place? Is it hard to wear the jewelry? Not hard. <laughs> <laughs> they wear it all the time. They take it. They take some of it off at night, but not all of it. Um, most of the jewelry is made by their girlfriends, <laughs> <laughs> and their job is to look beautiful. And sometimes it can take them up to half an hour to get dressed. And fully <laughs> There's a joke in Samburu culture. What is the most tragic thing for a warrior? To lose his mirror. <laughs> we, just had a very, we just had a very interesting experience on Wednesday. They came to visit me at my hat shop. I could hear them. They came down the street just like they did now. And they came in the shop and Le Lecite said to Chief in Samburu, and I could kind of understand, said, what's going on with that over there? I have a full length mirror. And Chief said, it's a mirror. He had never seen a full length mirror, only a small hand mirror. Wow. Um, what holidays do you celebrate? In my, at my home, we don't have, uh, we don't have uh, holidays. We have ceremonies, cultural of culture. Every day is a marriage ceremony. Every is a conversation ceremony for the boys. Those are our national ceremonies. <laughs> others are national days and other things are just there for, for the people who know who have gone to school. These other people does not know what's called the national day. They know their days of doing their casual doing Passovers, they do like that. Like yesterday we have been having Easter. Easter and even today. There are towers, they are slaughtering gods by culture, not by Easter <laughs> or two Easter or whatever. They don't go to church, but they have their own belief on their culture. They have their black god. <laughs> in the mountain, in the rivers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's another question. Do you celebrate birthdays? No. It's only your birthday is only celebrated only once. <laughs> the day you are born, mothers, <laughs> the God, mothers only will eat that God, and that's the end of celebration. Not for men. Men should not celebrate for the birthday of the child. So it's mothers. We they, they slaughter very big God. Then it's only for the mothers. For for any for a male, even for a boy. You will not eat because it's a taboo to boys. So it's mother's only to celebrate that day. That's the end of the celebration. Ah.